Hello, I'm BDA Stevens, a senior handler at the Internet Storm Center. I wrote a diary about uh, a malicious office document with the XOR encoding, and I used CyberChef to do the decoding, and that's what I'm going to show you uh, here in this video. So I have the malicious document here, and as you can see, it contains uh, macros. So let me select all those macros and uh, decompress them. And here you see something like this. Uh, so this looks like base64 with a function to do the decoding of the base64. And then you have this here with a function. Hmm? So this looks like uh, XOR uh, decoding encoding, eh? where this is uh, the encoded uh, text and this is the key. We can grab for XOR and indeed here there is a line where you can see uh, XOR going on. So it's probable that this is indeed uh, XOR encoding. So let's grab for this function name like this. And here we have uh, different uh, encoded texts that we will try to decode. So now I'm going to use the Cyberchef uh, to do this. So if you Google for Cyberchef, you will uh, end up here uh, finding Cyberchef, the Cyber Swiss Army Knife. And when you visit this website here, you can build up a recipe of different operations and then you provide your input and you see the output. So what I'm going to do here is do the decoding, try to do the decoding to see if it is uh, indeed uh, XOR. So my first idea was that this here is base64. So I'm selecting this string. I copy it. And here I take an operation to do the base64 decoding. So I drag this into the recipe and this will do base64 decoding and I can paste the code here and then you get this here. Okay, so this is probably binary data that is XOR encoded. So let's try now to do the XOR and here in encryption, sorry, in encryption encoding here, you will find XOR. So let's drag me this into the recipe. So this will be the, the next step. So we are going to decode the, this here with XOR. So what I'm going to provide it is a string. So let's take uh, UTF-8. And this is what I suspect to be the XOR key. Let me copy this and then I paste this here into the key and then indeed you see that it is um, the XOR encoding with a key here because we get now a, a URL that is decoded here. And now of course we can just take something else like this here. Let's take that encoded string replace that here like this yeah and now we get the file name so this is uh, very likely a dropper uh, that downloads from that url and then writes to this disk file and executes it and let's see what this is yeah and this is the XML HTTP uh, object that is used to do the decoding. Hmm? So this uh, shows you how you can use the uh, Cyberchef uh, with the GUI tool. And because this is not command line, this is uh, with the GUI interface uh, uh, to help you analyze uh, and decode uh, encoded uh, obfuscated strings that you might find.